coming out you 41 feet 6 inches in length with a dry weight as this unit sits of 14,340 pounds 2021 Keystone Alpine model 3712 KB KB could be a numerous things from King Bath to King Bed but I think you guys will definitely see why I think it's a King Bath whenever we make our way inside and let me just point out all the exterior storage on this model here you got room for the wife to bring everything underneath the sun including the kitchen sink with her on this trip what's going on everyone i'm andrew with camper kingdom in meridian mississippi and today we're going to be taking a look at this new model that just showed up keystone alpine front living sleeping room for about six people just really depending on the size of your guest i'm going to start on the front of the unit going over some of its weights the missions and then mark our way to the rear and then gradually making our way to the inside so if you're new here welcome to the channel hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started so you're on the front of the coach you're gonna have a fully molded fiberglass painted front cap with an automotive windshield allowing for that much more light to come through 80 percent tint on all the windows this unit does have frameless windows but if you upgrade to a double pane window your frameless windows will be changed out for more of a frame style similar to that and this one here dry weight on this unit as it sits of 14,000 340 pounds king pin weight 2810 pounds with a road armor trail air suspension and there is a three inch rubber bushing in there that does rotate when you start and stop just allowing it for a little bit smoother ride also like how they wrapped around the fiberglass front cap on the main construction 100 inch wide body suspension heated underbelly with heated holding tanks camper is going to be sitting on a 12 inch drop frame construction good shot of the underbelly unit on this model here does not have a pass through storage on the front but you do have loads of actual space storage space in the rear camper has over 200 square feet of actual sexual exterior storage solid steps and there is a hydraulic cylinder on this unit here and let me just show you guys how easy this is Look at that. That hydraulic cylinder really does make for, you know, easy setup for this unit here. Does in fact have the big grab handle when you're coming in. Polar package. Like I said, heated and closed underbelly with the 12 volt tank heaters. You have two 20 foot electric awnings on this thing. So just about the entire side of this camper is completely covered underneath an awning space and usually a big downside to having you know the extra side of it here is you're going to lose you know a little bit of additional awning space but alpines go ahead and going ahead and add it the second one led lights underneath both of them i hope you guys can see what's underneath there the tires on this unit are st 235 80 r16s and the spare spare tire is going to be located back behind the actual wheels tucked nicely underneath the underbelly in this unit over 200 square feet of actual exterior storage does in fact have the magnetic latches pretty thick decent doors too closing up nicely but let me just point out on the back of the unit you do have more exterior storage easy access to the roof with the roof ladder 3 8 decking on the roof blindside camera prep there's a total of three or four different cameras on the unit and more storage space provided here Two inch receiver on the back, and this is not for pulling a trailer. This is for a bike rack or an additional luggage rack. 300 pound actual low capacity for that two inch receiver there. 50 amp coach, so your main power cord is back here in the back on an electric reel. So all you gotta do is just simple press of a button and that cord will in fact retract itself, keeping your hands free and clean. So I really like that, that's pretty cool down in the dirty there's only one sewer connection for this unit so it makes life that much easier one hose and there is a storage compartment i'll show you up in the front for that hose and all the pull handles are located nicely underneath the storage compartment heated underbelly heated storage compartments as well all the heats from the actual duct system that goes through the actual floor and the pull handles being right there for your gray and your black road armor suspension so you can have a lot more smoother ride when toting this 16,000 pound beast 
behind your vehicle. The unit is going to come equipped with a gas tankless hot water heater. So if you're more full time or if you enjoy longer showers, you're definitely going to be needing both of these two 30 pound propane bottles, 60 pounds total located right up here in the front of the unit. So you're not bouncing back and forth when you have to change those out. Water management system, the water lines and the cable lines will come right up through here, even the satellite inside the water management area. Satellite connections, TV connections up in the front, city water connections there if you're going to be utilizing the actual holding tanks for the fresh water, and then you got your black tank flush there. The sewer line, whenever you're not utilizing it, Alpine has provided a nice PVC pipe just to store it nice and get out of the way. That way you're not fumbling around with it. That's definitely a dirty job. This time we're going to go ahead and get this button back up and head inside. So here inside the unit, Keystone Alpine Front Living 3712 KB is the model number. KB could be for king bath, king bed. I'll definitely let you guys decide as we start moving towards the rear of the coach. But we're going to start on the front and work our way towards the rear going over some of the inside specs and the layouts of the actual coach. So here coming into the front of the coach, front living floor plan, and both of the sofas on this unit are in fact sleeper sofas. You can have, so you can just have one massive bed throughout the whole entire living area for the grandkids if they're coming along or maybe for just another couple. One thing that really sets Alpine apart from its other competitors on the market is all the attention to detail with all the woodworking. Actual real wood on the actual slide facings, even the valance, you're gonna have wood trim on all the valances going throughout, throughout the coach. Just an all around great quality that Alpine is providing. Up in the front is where the actual TV and the fireplace is going to be and the entertainment actual sound bar up on the top. But you notice instantly the big automotive gray windshield. Well, if you don't want that actual open all day, you do have a blackout shade that is provided on a little tracking system on both sides there. So that will go all the way down, just blocking everything out nicely. The countertop up here on the front is just one solid oak slab all the way across. No seams throughout. And of course, you got the lip there. That's just for the TV to come up. So 50 inch TV provided, tucks nicely away, but once again, if you don't want it and you just need more counter prep space, it is available for you just to lower down out of the way. 40 inch electric fireplace, but if you don't camp in the winter, you can also just turn off the heat and just have the lights on. The lights in the background can change colors to blue into different reds. And then once again, you can turn off the heat completely let your fireplace once again producing around 5,000 BTUs of heat from this actual space here. That's just an electric space heater there. Once again, sleeper sofa on both sides, and I will definitely be letting these out closer to the end to show you how much walk around room you're going to have. Thomas Paine Collection theater seats, and these are heated and massaged. Manual pull handle to recline them tucked down inside of the outside of the recliner. And the controls for the heat and massage are located here heat massage even the light and you do in fact have the 12 volt charger there so coming into the actual kitchen slash dining area you are instantly met by two opposing slides and one massive island here in the middle and i really like how they've carried the darker colors from the woodworking around the slides and the steps over to the island just making that white countertop just really pop and come alive let me also point out some of the woodwork inside the you know the alpine it's definitely what sets it apart from its other competitors. Solid surface countertop with a 60-40 stainless steel sink. And you do in fact have the additional covers to cover the actual sink area, making for one massive prep space. 110 outlets provided over here. So you could in fact maybe put a smaller coffee pot or a mixer or something else up here while you're actually cooking. A decent amount of actual store space. And you do in fact have a trash bin bin, trash bin bin. For all of your trash can keeping it nicely tucked out of the way a decent sized coffee prep space so four pull out drawers there ball bearing hinges those do pull out all the way solid oak once again and a decent amount of actual cabinet space over here for a smaller pantry but you're definitely not going to be short pantry on this unit solid surface countertops continued again over to the prop coffee prep state station 110 and 12 volt outlets provided there Suburban all-demand tankless hot water heater. Temperatures ranging from 130 degrees going down to 95 degrees. And located next to it are all the main controls for the unit. Operating the 12 volt tank heaters, 
to the all the lights, the awning operations, slide operations, everything controlled right there from the unit. Central vacuum, there is a hose provided. I'll show you where that's located at. But really, there's hardly any carpet in here, but I guess you could vacuum the, you know, the, the vinyl flooring. 18 cubic foot all electric fridge. This does work off of a built-in 1000 watt inverter so that way all of your goods are staying cold while in transit, even though it is an electric actual fridge. Fridge on the top, freezer on the bottom. So definitely plenty of room if you are more full-time. Coming over to the actual appliances, all stainless steel appliances throughout the coach. Check out how they've done the oven. Two separate units. You can have three burners on the top with an actual separate oven on the bottom with a decent amount of actual room in there. It's quite cool. Three different burners on the top, each producing a different BTU of actual heat with your standard 31 inch microwave across the top. Furion's the brand on all the appliances throughout. Solid surface countertops continued again over here and check out the backsplash, how they continued it all the way over and even all the way from the ground. So coming around to the dining room side, you're gonna have a slide height of six foot 10. So definitely friendly for the taller individual, even with the legless table underneath. So you don't have to worry about slinging your legs underneath there and bumping your knees. Plenty of storage space provided underneath all the chairs. You're gonna have additional storage as well as underneath the table. Maybe get yourself a nice little organizer for your silverware. And I've got the straps for the chairs underneath here now. Leaflet is provided to extend the range of the table. And I felt like I should have talked more about the window treatments when I was in the living room, but I failed to do so. So all the windows are blackout shades, day and night shades. You can have two different types. This is called the blackout shade. Underneath this, the day and night shade, which is just a screen material. Also 80% tint on all the windows, so it definitely does a great job of keeping all the light out. Even the different balance on the side keeps the white from actually coming from the sides. And again, the woodworking throughout the coach. I really like how they've just done all the different woodworking designs throughout. So coming around from the actual dining room side, I had to change the camera angle just to show you the inside of this pantry. You're met with one massive walk-in pantry. And I had to adjust to make it like more of a fish house just so you guys can see how much room you actually have inside this thing. A ton of actual pantry space for all of our goods, additional counter space for maybe a crock pot, a toaster oven, and so forth. And check out how they wrap the backsplash all the way around again. And I'm six foot two, so if I'm gonna be reaching the top shelf of this one, I'm definitely gonna have to have some kind of footstool to stand on to reach the top of there because it's quite high up there. Once again, oak cabinets and actual metal hardware on the actual pull handles, so none of the plastic stuff. Alpine's really done a great job. So coming in the back of the coach, you're met with a sliding style door separating the actual kitchen area from the master bedroom area. And here in the master bedroom, you're gonna be met with a king size bed with a raised cloth type kind of headboard. And you can definitely tell where the, the LED reading lights are at. Breeze windows on both sides with fully blackout shades and check out the all wood trim once again. And talking about the actual air conditioning unit, I failed to talk about that so far. So two Whisper Quiet 15K air conditioners, as well as the back unit that's here is a 16,500 BTU actual heat pump. So a little bit of heat from electric, as well as for propane. And it's always little things that I like to find. A dimmer switch in the bedroom. We can just turn the lights down low, set the mood to get ready for bed, or you can turn them all the way up and watch the 32 inch flat screen TV at the foot of the bed here. Breeze window with blackout shades, 32 inch Jensen TV, and all the satellite connections are tucked nicely away. And there's the other exhaust vent for the Whisper Quiet air conditioner there. Three pull out drawers here, hanging closets. All four of these is what I call east to west hanging rods. So the rod's located this way. So your clothes are just gonna stack actually into the actual cabinet there. So getting ready to head into the master bath, but I just want to remind you guys, model 3712KB, is it for king bed or is it for king bath? Two sliding style doors opening up to one massive shower bathroom, his and her sinks with solid surface countertops, medicine cabinets for him and her both with a decent amount of actual storage space inside check out the actual counter space you definitely get back in there with more of your stuff 
washer and dryer connections on the back, but if you don't want to use this for washer and dryer connections, you can use it for the hanging rod for more storage space for just hanging your clothes and throwing your boots into the floor there. Porcelain foot flush toilet with a decent amount of actual leg room so you can in fact kick back on the actual toilet there. But let me talk about the shower. There is just so much room in the shower, I don't think the video is going to do it justice. Possibly room for four, maybe five people inside this one piece shower. So I'm six foot two, and as you can tell, there's plenty of headroom. My arm is all the way extended out, and I'm not hitting any of the walls anywhere throughout. Just tons of room. Residential style faucet actually provided there with shelves, even a big, huge seat for the ladies to really stretch out in that shower to shave your legs. Just one great coach. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, I greatly do appreciate it. You finally got to see what that KB stands for. Everybody's gonna have their different opinion if it's gonna be for king bed or for king bath. I really think it's a king bath. If you wanna see this model, I'll leave a link into the description so you guys can go back to my actual webpage, take a look at all our inventory we all for here at Camper Kingdom. Leave a comment, tell me guys what you guys wanna see more of or even less of. Sometimes I'm a little long-winded. I'll get carried away and just start talking for days about certain things. So I feed off of your feedback. So like, subscribe, leave a comment, come see me.